All right, welcome to the Zabe cast. Zabe, Scott Lynn, Al Galdi is out today. Sally is here. Hey, uh, NASCAR hurting for money, like everyone's hurting for money. Mm -hmm. They are thinking about things. You know, they've already implemented a couple things to save money, such as no testing this off season. They used to do lap and lap and lap down at Daytona. A whole lot of studying going on. Had right. to. Yeah. Checking out the uh, ergonomics, teletronics, uh, what are you, dynamics, yeah. telemetry. Yeah. Trajectory. No. But they, were che they would do this every winter when the sport had money, and they'd figure out the fastest way to get their cars and their engines and their programs. It was a big high-tech race. Here I thought it was for the environment, Dave. No, it's not for the environment. Oh, okay. And so this year they knew it was going to cost a lot of money and that only the rich teams would be able to afford it, and that would create a competitive imbalance. So NASCAR said, no testing for anybody. Okay, fine. Now they're like, God, we need to get attendance up at some of these tracks because we're not getting sellouts in certain places. And Bruton Smith, who owns a bunch of tracks, said, why don't we do the NFL blackout rule? And NASCAR was like, uh, no, that's not going to work because television would scream bloody murder. Absolutely. They paid huge dollars right. for these races. Can't start taking them off. Now, I'm not insensitive to the economic plight of our favorite left turn redneck beer drinking chicken chewing sport uh, that is. You know. But you're, right. I love how you say you're not insensitive, and then you then juxtapose it with that sentence times three: chicken chewing, redneck, yada yada yada. Here is my humble suggestion: what you got, Hoss? Roll back the technology in the cars by about twenty years. You'd save billions. Make the cars less high tech. Yes, you can still make them safe. That's I'm not what, saying that was take my question. The, right, but keep just the Hans. Let, right, keep whatever you. Yeah. Make them, uh, you know, if they're five miles an hour slower, who's going to be able to tell in the stands? If they're going 183 instead of 188, who can tell? It, there's no records to protect in the sport like baseball. If they handle a little bit more squirrely, that's a good thing. Because then there'll be more crashes more, in this. More wrecks, but safer wrecks, I guess. Right. How about this? Let drivers fight if they want to so you really wrecks. want it to be like old-time hockey where hockey goes big with the outdoor games the retro jerseys you want retro cars and fisticuffs again i'm just saying you can do this it's not going to affect the overall fact that racing is racing what's the number one phrase in all an ass car that's just racing. That's just racing. So if the cars go five miles an hour slower, if they handle a little bit more squirrely, if you take out a lot of the high-tech electronics, you don't let them test, guess what Sundays are still going to be like watching NASCAR? Fun as shit. <laughs> Crashes, fights, trading paint, swapping the lead. That's the essence of racing. So you keep the core. What about dirt tracks? What about sand tracks? Uh, okay, now you're getting nuts. I'm just no. no I, but, <laughs> oh, I've always but, but, thought. But, but, I've always thought that they should do a retro like once race. Once a year, once a or retro twice. race, like the like the like midwinter the beach, classic on a beach somewhere. Right, like hockey does the outdoor game. Mm -hmm. Do a retro race where they do pack the sand, and they drive on the beaches of Daytona, the hardened, flattened sand like concrete beaches. Now, I bet environmentalists would be very irate. <laughs> at carburetors dripping right. fuel and oil on the beach. We're here to save the manatee. No, you're here to kill my local eco. But I bet you could find some rich dude with a big enough parcel of land somewhere in Texas that could set up a dirt track that you could use a modified NASCAR ride and do some wild ass. Or why don't we go hyper local and bring the big boys to, I don't know, Anderson, Indiana. <laughs> like dirty driving, huh? Again, there are a lot of ways around this. Now, NASCAR has built up this huge empire based on deep corporate sponsorship, very high-tech electronics and other stuff, all kinds of fan amenities, which is fine, but in economic hard times, dial it back just a bit. Crazy idea. It might just be crazy enough to work. Thanks for listening, everybody. We will see you tomorrow.